Hey everyone, in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at how to calculate the distance between a point and a line in a two-dimensional Cartesian plane. So please put down today's subtitle, Finding the Distance Between a Point and a Line. In a moment, you're going to see a formula that will help you determine the distance between a point and a line. But the big thing you have to keep in mind is that while using this formula, it helps to determine the perpendicular distance between any point and any line, as illustrated in the following diagram. The line in green is a line that is perpendicular to line segment BC going to point A. The formula you're about to see will help you calculate this line. But if you take a look at the two red lines, they do represent distances from point A to line segment BC, but they're not perpendicular to line BC. So the formula you're about to see will not help you calculate those two distances. One more thing to mention before we take a look at the actual formula is the notation for the distance from a point to a line. It's written as a small letter d and in brackets the point first, in this case A, comma, and line segment, in this case BC. So without further delay, let's take a look at the formula that will help calculate distance between a point and a line. The distance from a point to a line is equal to the absolute value of AX plus B times Y plus C, all divided by the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so there's a lot of letters to plug in. But the letters do come from very specific locations. The A, B, and C come from the A, B, and C in the equation of a line written in general form. This is a line to which you're trying to find a distance to, but it has to be written in general form. And the X and Y come from the X and Y values of the point that you're trying to dis find a distance for. One other thing to keep in mind is the terminology absolute value. All you really need to know for now is that absolute value means that any number found within those two straight lines turn positive. So if you have the absolute value of negative 6, it turns into positive 6. And if the number is already positive, then it remains positive. Let's try an example, and you'll see that this massive looking formula isn't really that scary to use. Please take a moment to prepare the following example. We're going to find the distance between point A, located at negative 2 and 5, and line segment BC with the rule already in general form of x minus 5y minus 11 is equal to 0. Now keep in mind that the way this formula works because it is calculating the perpendicular distance from a point to a line, that means it's also automatically calculating the shortest distance between that point and that line. First, let's identify all the variables involved in this formula. The A, B, and C come from the rule of the line written in general form. In this case, the variable A is always the coefficient in front of the x. In our example, a equals 1. The b is always the coefficient in front of the y variable, including the sign. So in our example, the b is equal to negative 5. And finally, the c is a constant that's standing on its own. In our case, c is going to equal to negative 11. And then the x and y come from the point itself, the x value, in this case, negative 2, and the y value, in this case, 5. Once you've identified all the variables, it's just plug and play into the formula. So I'll write the formula down again, and then the rest is just plug and play. We have absolute value of the a, which is 1, multiplied by the x, which is negative 2, plus the b. Now, in our case, b is negative 5, so we write down a negative 5. So it's subtract 5, multiplied by the y, which is another 5. 
and then plus a C, in our case C is negative 11, so we just copy down negative 11. Close the absolute value, and everything divided by the square root of the A squared, so we have 1 squared, plus the B squared, so we have negative 5 squared. Continuing our, cal our calculations, we have absolute value of negative 38 divided by square root of 26. Absolute value of negative 38 gives us positive 38, still divided by square root of 26, and that gives us an approximate distance of 7.45 rounded to two decimal places. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we calculate the perpendicular or shortest distance from a point to a line.